hello and welcome in our previous video we had learned what are insights in this video we are going to learn how to create a model for insights in oracle integration for demonstration purpose i'm creating an insight for order wherein the milestones will be order created payment order completed if there are any errors we will log a error in error milestone so this will be four milestones and we'll create few measures and dimensions i'm here in oracle integration instance click on the home button click on this insights and go to models we are going to create a model for order insights once you are in models designer page click on this create button provide the name give the description as learning order model insight click on create by default you have to create mandatorily two milestones one will be a initial milestone and a, and one will be a terminal milestone i will provide the name as order created as my initiating uh, milestone and my terminal milestone will be order completed now under order created i will create few indicators click on this plus button and create the dimensions dimensions are something like build to address ship to address this could be a dimension and measure like something quantitative which could which could be measured like a quantity or the amount amount requested amount paid so my first dimension is ship to customer okay click outside after naming you will get these options ship to customer is a string type data uh, extraction criteria uh, will define this uh, in integration as of now we can leave this as is we are not going to choose as filterable so this will create a performance issue uh, only for the required things we will create will be creating click on add similarly we have to create a bill to customer We'll create two ship to and build to customers in order completed i'm going to create one dimension here i'm giving a customer acceptance data type i'm giving this as a string either this will be a true or false click on add under order created we have created two dimensions we have not added measures so in our case measures could be something like quantity and the price we'll add it over here I will add, add, click on add measure, quantity, make this as integer, click on add, create one more milestone and provide the name as payment, status, this is a standard, in the indicator we can give as uh, under dimensions as a payment, method, method could be something like credit card debit card epa and one more measure i'm going to add this will be a price what is the price of the commodity click on float click on add create one more milestone here we can give as a order rejected as of now i'm not adding any indicators if you want you can add the indicators what you have created will be displayed over here now switch over to identifier we have to add one uh, unique identifier so that we can uh, track this uh, model insight so uh, in our case the unique identifier will be this order number so i'm adding it over here my identifier instance identifier is order number select the milestone i'm associating it with the order created uh, and this will be of type integer if you want to assign this order number to other milestones we can do that assign to other click on this add assign to other milestone and select the milestone here i am adding this to order rejected yeah we are done now if you want to add an alert like sending an email notification then we can do it using this click on add alert give the name alert order rejected about this could be based on a milestone or indicator as of now i'm selecting this for a milestone we want notification only for order rejected case send an email i will provide my email address over here we can click on configure we can fill the from and to address here 
in the subject we can provide the indicators if you want to pull the data we can put the dollar symbol and click on this order number in the body order rejected we can give the value of order number and uh, customer acceptance acceptance what we can do is we can search for the customer acceptance and click on this click on done so we have completed adding alerts click on save and we can close in our next video we will learn how we can add this insight uh, within our integration